We've talked about why we'll starve with conventional farming. We've talked about what indoor farms are. But how exactly will indoor farms keep us fed in the apocalypse? The interior space is its own sealed off world. Every known influence on the plant's well-being is controlled and optimized. They can dial in temperature, the pH and electroconductivity of the water, nutrient solution, pests, weather, parasitic plants, animals, natural disasters, air humidity, germs, microbe levels, air composition, carbon dioxide levels, seasonality, climate, pollination, lighting intensities, and wavelengths, and more. Since it's a closed system, all the supplies used are contained and recycled. There's very little uncontrolled waste with indoor farms. When demand for food outpaces supply, you need increased production. With indoor farms, harvests are continuous, so there's no gaps in when we'll have food. Due to the optimized conditions, plants grow at a much faster rate. The thousands of cameras and sensors used to collect data about the plants is aggregated and optimized with machine learning artificial intelligence to improve the growth speed and quality of the plants, as well as immediately know when the plants need to be harvested. Indoor farms expand vertically, so they're more space efficient. They can easily stack levels and levels of farms as high as a skyscraper. Since indoor farms are location independent, they can be put very close to consumers and distribution centers. This reduces travel time for produce, which is very important because after a week, produce will lose around half of its nutrients. Automation and robotics can more easily be implemented into indoor farms due to its compact and self-contained environment. This will improve efficiency and speed of food production. Because, I mean, who wants to farm in the apocalypse anyways? Season 4 of The Walking Dead, anybody? Not only is the production so much faster, but the food is much better quality too. You don't need fertilizers, herbicides, fungicides, pesticides, insecticides, so none of these chemicals will be in your food. Soil isn't actually necessary for plant growth, which is a good thing since soil is heavy, it's hard to clean, and can contain harmful chemicals and metals. This also means there's no need to farm with increasingly scarce arable land. Since there's no soil, agricultural runoff contamination isn't a problem, which means more fresh, drinkable water for humans. Not only is the food healthier, but it's tastier and contains more variety. In the apocalypse, or if you're stranded on Mars, you're not going to want to eat the same bland, feces-grown potatoes for years and years. I think if I was Matt Damon, I would have gone outside and taken my helmet off after the first week of that. The carefully controlled environment of the indoor farm means that food can be bred and grown to emphasize certain traits, like sweetness, lushness, crispy and crunchiness, bitterness, spiciness, fragrance, and more on an unbelievably consistent level. The quality is something you might expect at a quaint family farm, but it's all grown by computers and robots in a sterile, clean room. If only cavemen in 70,000 BC had some indoor farms. Well, our population would have hit its maximum growth much sooner, we probably would have developed computers thousands of years ago, and would in general be a much more advanced species with flying cars, Mars cities, insane virtual reality games, and yeah, this is a nerd punch topic for sure. If humans didn't almost go extinct, how advanced would we be today? Do you agree that indoor farms will be our savior in the inevitable food crisis that will happen in the future? Hit the like button. Do you want to see how indoor farm technology can be applied to lab-grown meats, interplanetary colonies, and drone chipping? Let me know in the comments. And subscribe to get more Nerd Punch by clicking the little red button below. I cover everything cool, interesting, and nerdy. New videos every Friday and Saturday. Watch the first video to learn why we'll starve without indoor farms. Watch the second video to learn what an indoor farm actually is. I'll see you in the next Nerd Punch.